have a question for you. And question is this. What is the one thing that every network engineer should do? Like every network engineer should do CCNA because CCNA is entry point and CCNA is mandatory for all network engineers. So this is just an example. Like this, for network engineer, what is the one thing that they should, must do? Let's understand in this video. Guys, my name is Parful Misra. I'm a network engineer by profession and I'm a trainer by my passion. I have spent my five years in networking industry. So within my experience, I'm going to share the points that can help network engineers to boost their professional life. Guys, again, I'm not challenging your thought or your knowledge. Just I'm sharing my point of view, right? You can also share your point of view in the comment section. Now, without wasting our time, let's begin. Guys, I think every network engineer should believe in learning first, right? Should believe in learning because technology is changing day by day. Lots of devices are coming in market every day, right? So you have to check which devices can help my, you know, infrastructure, right? So you have to first invest sometimes every day on learning. Still, I am also, you know, spending my two to three hours every day for learning. So let's say you are a network engineer, you are working in company and you are investing some time, spending some time for learning. Every day you are learning something, right? Good. Then what is the next step? How I can boost my professional life? See guys, let me give you one example first. Let's say you are working in a company and that company is responsible for network planning, design, implementation and maintenance. Like your company is responsible to provide network infrastructure, right? Design, implement and maintenance to the customer. Right? Let's say I am customer. I have I, I am running, you know, sales company. I have multiple branches across the globe. So I need a network infrastructure, and your company is responsible for my network infrastructure. Your company is managing my infrastructure. So what you are doing there? Actually, you are managing right everything. Everything is working fine or not, how I can enhance the policies in the network, whatever your job, job responsibility is. Or let's say you are troubleshooting the network, like latency problem, BZP, ether channel, okay, any problem. Okay, so if you are working in the company, you are getting your salary every day, right? You are able to even troubleshoot the network, but you don't have knowledge of complete design, complete infrastructure, right? Let's say you are working for a particular customer so you have knowledge that there are few routers one router two router there are few switches right few firewalls few load balancer are there so you have knowledge about that branch only right? and you are able to troubleshoot them for that company is paying you so guys if you are doing job like this definitely your professional life will not grow exponentially definitely your life will grow but not exponentially so let's Take one another example, the person B working in same company like you, but you know, person B is doing what? Person B is working as well, right? They are working on the customer network. They are maintaining them, right? Apart from it, they are learning the design, the complete infrastructure of their company, like how they have designed the network, then how they have implemented it the configuration, devices, whatever things are there in their infrastructure. And then person B is working on how I can enhance this infrastructure, how I can improve this infrastructure. Like let's say one new firewall in the market that can enhance my network infrastructure, right? So you, will, you can suggest to your manager to purchase this device, replace this device, right? It can help company also to grow and it will help you also to grow your professional life. So guys, I think, I think the one thing that every network engineer should do is this. They should first focus on the design, how network is designed. Then they should understand the implementation, how they have implemented the network. And then they should work on the enhancement, like how they can enhance their infrastructure. Like there are some policies running right so how they can create better policies because guys you know if you will learn new things every day and as you are working right you are implementing those things as well in the real time so definitely if you will work hard you will get idea for the enhancement 
right? Let's say I am running one policy. Just policy requirement is let's say one user can access limited number of internet. Okay, or let's say I have one server in different locations. So on that server there are multiple services, but I want the particular computer, particular user can access limited number of services on the server. Now we have multiple options, right, to achieve this task. ACL policy, this, 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 blah, 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 right? But try to understand what policy you are using and how you can enhance that policy. How you can enhance the security, right? So guys, if you will work like this, work on design first, like how network is designed, then work on implementation, right? How they have implemented the network, the complete configuration, and then work on enhancement. How you can enhance their infrastructure, their services. So if you will implement this point in your professional life, guys, I'm damn sure your professional life will start growing. But if you are working on few protocols, troubleshooting few protocols, and you are doing same task every day, and you are getting your salary, right? You are happy, you are in comfort zone. You are not learning. You are not, uh, you know, understanding the design of complete network, implementation, enhancement. Then brother, maybe your life will grow, your professional life will grow very slowly, right? So again, first thing is what? First thing is learning. I have to first learn. Let's say you are troubleshooting BZP. Right? So you know the command to check BZP reverse if you are running so IP BZP summary, right? And you are sending, let's say, output to other person in your company, right? And you don't have knowledge of BZP, right? Detailed knowledge of BZP, then you can never understand the implementation of BZP in your infrastructure. You know only the output of so IP BZP summary command, that's it. So if you are doing job like this, so I be busy somebody or put this in there, there, your professional life can grow, but it will grow slowly. If you want to grow your professional life exponentially, what you need to do? You need to focus on learning, implementation, design, and enhancement, improvement, how you can improve the network. So now let's take one example. I am the new network engineer, fresher network engineer, and my company hired me, you know, for the network design, implement, and maintenance. So the customer is going to open a new branch at new location. So I will request to my company, please send me there to implement the network, right? To connect the devices, to do the cabling, right? Guys, at the initial time, cabling is also very important, right? There are most, most of the network engineers never seen the physical devices. Right, they have access through telnet or putty, but they don't know how actually devices look like. Right, so in your life, in your working, try to do all the works. Right, like try to implement the network also. Do cabling also, at least once in your life. Do cabling as well. Right, and then if you are good enough in these things, then try to work on the enhancement. How you can enhance the existing network. Hope this video is helpful for you guys. If yes, please hit on like button. If you have any question, query, if you want any more video, please let me know in the comment section. We will meet soon in next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.